going to talk about goal setting uh, for the conversation this week. I also need to focus more on pausing, letting the thoughts come, silence. I found that the past year I'm reverting back to filler noises like, um, uh, meh, meh. I don't know why that is. I guess it's just a habit that I want to break because I, for a long time, talking to the camera, I was able to break that and pause when I couldn't think of a word. And then it would come to me and I just, I like that better. So in the vlog, I talk about the reading challenge, uh, reading glasses reader challenge for, or reading glasses is a podcast and they have a reading challenge they do every year. I've done it the past two years and this is my third year doing it. I like it. Um, I'm going to continue to do them, I think. I, I, at least this year, I'm going to do it again. There's one specific goal in there I'm not going to do. And I think this is why I wanted to talk about goal setting in general. I have my art goals 2023 thing here, which is also... I guess I've been doing art goals... I think this is the second year? Yeah. So I've been doing the reading glasses, reading challenge, and my art goals for the same amount of time, I guess. And I didn't realize that. And this is Art Goals 2024. So I want to talk about these as well. So I think there's stuff that I just want to do. And then there's like goals. And it's interesting because I think there are so many things that like I... I don't know if that means I'm like not a goal-oriented person. In the sense that I don't have a lot of concrete goals. And I'm like, I need to do this by this time, do it this way, blah, blah. I think it's like, yeah, there's things I want to do and I'll do them or I won't do them, but I want to do them. And so we'll see how that goes. I think I attributed this to a lack of discipline at first. And now it's coming around where I think it's just my style. And I think that focusing more on what do I want to do and why, and just doing those things, I don't, need to necessarily write them down or make them goals of like, I want to do my physio properly so I can play basketball and my knee stuff is better and I want to lose weight and I want to be healthier. And I've been doing a lot of those things. I never wrote down, let's get better sleep. Let's go to the gym in the morning and let's change our diet. I never wrote that down. It's just, yeah, that's a goal, but I don't need to c put it anywhere concrete. I think they are also things I've wanted to focus on or, for years, but haven't made a commitment to them. And I don't think writing it down and making it a goal would make it more successful for me. I think for some people, if that's how you roll, then that just whatever works for you, right? But I don't think that would make it more successful for me. I think that's almost not a deterrent, but it would make me more anxious or stressed or whatever, which then would maybe backfire because I would be so focused on the fact that I'm not doing this thing and I really need to do this thing. And if I don't do this thing, then blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, but, or I could just recognize, yeah, you're not doing that thing. Okay, well, like try harder next week or tomorrow or let's, let's think about why. It doesn't have the same amount of pressure. Now the art goals are interesting because I think there are some things that when I started doing that, that I was like, yeah, I want to write this down. I really want to get this done this year. And one of the reasons that I haven't been doing a lot of the things on my list is because I'm busy enough and I don't really get, like, um, I need to get something for the video that I completely forgot about until right now. I don't really get art block. So because I don't get art block, I have new ideas coming in all the time, new things I want to do. It doesn't feel like, oh, okay, well, I want to do something, but I don't really know what I want to do today, so let me just go look. This is a whole book of prompts, of, like, prompts that I, some of them have been for years, like, I keep updating them. There's different categories. That's a miscellaneous category. Sometimes there's quotes in there. Um, there's movies and TV, where I've written down some of those quotes from there, or characters, episode titles things that are happening, concepts from movies. There's the same thing for literature. There is a section for music, like again, quotes, album titles, things that really resonate with me. And then I've got a section for like um, exhibition ideas, which I'm going to talk about 
as well. So this is a thing that I update, or I try, I try to keep it updated. I'm, I'm bad at being regular with it. Um, I, ideally, I would update it like once a week or every time I'm here because I have notes in my phone as well. And so this is already, like there's tons of things I want to do and I want to explore those ideas. And sometimes those ideas go unexplored or unaddressed for years. So I don't end up doing them at all. That's just life. That's like all the books that I wanted to read that I'll never get through. Um, my, I just want to do as best the, the best that I can um, because I have to juggle so many other things. So with goal setting, I think that I've generally been pretty lackadaisical about it, but having a knowledge and understanding as to why makes me feel definitely less lazy. It makes me feel like I understand myself better and I'm still doing things, but just because I don't have a traditional goal list or something like other people, it doesn't mean that I'm not doing what I should be doing. I'm doing it. I just am doing it in a different way. And so the reading challenge, let's go back to the reading challenge. I really tried to do everything the first year. And then last year, I, again, I, I like none of them seemed to be like a thing that was like, I think the first year I did it, there was a lot of things that really pushed me to, to reading these different books and stuff. Um, so the reading challenge, there's five books to read. There's five tasks to do those tasks to be really simple. Um, sometimes it's like pumping up your independent local bookstore, just making a social media post, promoting them or, doing some a library event or reading an article by your favorite author or something like that. So, sorry, I'm focused on my incense here because, like, it's... I don't know what it's doing. Um, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, so that's not helpful. Anyway, this year there is a challenge that i just straight up not going to do, and it's to read a cozy book. And by definitions that I see, a cozy book basically is like saying, let's take any topic that would normally be for a mature reader and make it G-rated. So it's like, hey, if there's a suspense novel or a mystery or something, maybe there are two people that engage in a sexual act, um, willingly, romantically, whatever. But basically it's like, you would know that they got up in the morning together. You don't, you, there's no description, there's no detail, which is fine, but it's like going out of your way to censor something. And I'm like, I'm not interested in that at all. So I don't want to do that challenge. But I don't think that I have to do that to say like, like I'm not doing it so I can check a box and say, look at all these things I did. I did the reading challenge. It's like, no, it's giving me ideas for things that I, I would I would want to try or, or it, it is pushing me lightly to read some books that I never would have read before or like never given a shot or whatever to discover new authors. One of them is to read a book by a non-binary author. I don't know any, so I have, I have to go explore that and then find a book that seems like I'll enjoy and maybe I'll have a new author that I like just because it told me to do that. And I don't think that's, again, to me, that's not going out of my way to do a thing I don't want to do. Um, I have plenty of books that I want to read, but then, you know, a couple times a year, I can definitely read books that I never thought of reading before. So for me, the reading challenge is not about completing it. It is about getting good ideas, trying to do those things just to, to explore my reading life more, to engage with literature in a different way. But I don't think that I absolutely have to do those things and I'm not going to feel bad if I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to read a cozy book. It's like if they told me to read a I don't know that read up read a book that's the history of America. I'm like I don't want to do that. Like I just don't want to do it, so I'm not going to. So I think that's kind of where I'm at with with those things of like taking them as just like suggestions, ways to challenge myself, but not committing to I have to complete this because if I don't, I'm garbage. So talking about art goals now. So I started doing this two years ago. And part of it was like, these are things I really want to do. And I want to do them for so long. I really just need to, to get on my, get, get my act together and do them. So I'm going to go through the art goals here. Not all of them, but one, you know, what? I'll go through all of them. Art goals, 2023, paint another pink guy piece. Uh, I did that. Use water soluble oils. I've not done that yet, but I think I'm going to start to fool around and practice a little bit today. 
uh, Paint Heat piece, which is from the movie Heat. Haven't done it. Published the Poetry Photo Book, which we'll talk about in more detail. Haven't done that yet. It's been on my list for two years. Begin my memoir. I crossed it out. I'll get to that. Paint another bee box piece. Crossed it out. Not going to do that this year. Paint the house portrait, which is a portrait of the character House, which I did do. Uh, paint Birdman portrait. Crossed it out. Paint Seinfeld art, because I have a couple Seinfeld, um, Seinfeld influenced ideas for paintings. Paint Wren. I have not done either of those things yet. Paint Dispensation piece, so the Dispensation of the Fullness of Times, I think is what it's called. Uh, I've not done that yet. Finish the Price is Right painting, haven't done that yet. Paint Live Portrait of Rebecca, I did do that. So on my list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 things for this year, for last year, sorry, for 2023, out of 13 things, I did three of them. Uh, I'm glad that I did those three things. Other things I definitely want to push myself to do, like the oils thing. I'm scared of oils. I've been getting some help with, with trying to get over that fear. And so, therefore, I really believe I will be doing that soon. But I'm not beating myself up, uh, uh, up about it. There's things on here. So, like, um, heat, piece. I've done the background for it. I've done the background for the Price is Right piece. Like, there's things that I'm like, I started them. But once I get out of them, sometimes it's very difficult for me to get back to. It still comes from, like, finishing pieces in one sitting. But it also comes from, like, um, if I'm not in the mood to do something, I just can't force myself to do it a lot of the time. If it's art-related. And I can do art. But it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to do this landscape right now. So even um, track record, the exhibition that Rebecca and I are going to have at Helen Schuler, I've done two pieces for that in the past, I don't even know, three months. One of them I just did yesterday. Just boom, did it, done. The other one I did a couple months ago. And again, I did them, I think, in like one sitting or two sittings. That first piece, I can't remember. This one was just in one sitting, like all of it other than the preparation of like putting the chain around and painting like one flat background color. So anyway, I, I just need to be in the mood to do it. That's all it comes down to. Having these things on here of like the goals is kind of like, yeah, I really want to do that because I started that. These are not goals to me. These are I can pick this up, look through it, decide, you know what, I want to do that today if I don't have a, an idea that I'm really, really feeling strong about right now. So for Art Goals 2024, I did make another one. I decided I was going to continue doing this. A lot of the Art Goals from 2023 ended up here, but I also mentioned I crossed some out. And I've only added actually one new one on here. So right now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight Art Goals for 2024. I crossed out Begin the Memoir. I'm not going to start writing a memoir until I need to start writing a memoir. Whenever that happens, it happens. I've felt strongly about it several times over the past, I don't know how many years, four, five years, three or four years. And I've made some notes in my phone about it, but I've never just sat down to write that. Uh, paint another bee box piece. I don't have anything started for a bee box piece. I wanted to explore that idea more. I didn't like the one that I did. I had to really change a lot in order to come to terms with it, to push it in a, I had to push it in a completely different direction to resolve it. So I'm not a huge fan of that piece. I want to do another B-Box piece that's more straightforward, but I also don't feel pressure to do that. I'm not making it a goal. If it happens, it happens. I also crossed out paint Birdman portrait. I have a bunch of portraits. I'm sure that I'm going to get to that Birdman portrait. I've got, it's not drawn out yet, but I've got like a couple portraits that are planned to do already. I just need to draw them out and and then just do them. And I think it's going to be kind of like doing a landscape or something. It's like, I'm just going to do it when I feel like doing it. I'll be like, you know what? I can handle that today. Today is a day. I feel confident. I feel good. It feels like I can just get to work. I don't need to be a specific kind of an emotional state or, I mean, I guess I do because I have to be in a mode where I can just attack that thing which I will talk about more here. So I crossed those ones out. And these are the ones that I kept. Oil painting, just do some oil painting. Heat piece, which I talked about. Self-published the poetry book, which is something I wanna do because I've had a lot of photos and like photos of poetry 
and I want to do something with those. I don't feel like the photos that I've taken, some of them I'm really proud of, and I just don't feel like they've had a proper outlet to be explored. Um, so I would really like to do that. Uh, Seinfeld art is on there. Painting a picture of Ren, that will be very challenging, but I think that if I actually print, if I print out some reference photos, if I have them at the ready, I think that there's a better chance I'll do it. And sometimes I can do the neutral thing of drawing the outline or something, and then I'll paint it when I feel like painting it. But having the outline done and ready, I think will make a big difference. Uh, the dispensation piece, Price is Right piece, and the only new thing I added was the self-portrait body of work. So I've had this idea. I applied to CASA for an exhibition to do this body of work that I don't have a title for yet that is all self-portraits. But the self-portraits aren't necessarily paintings of myself. Sometimes they're going to be paintings of other people or abstract or objects, but they are things that represent me. The titles are very, very important to the work and reflective of the content and my mind state going into them. And a lot of it is exploring legacy, mortality, art, myself, anxiety. And so I would like to finish that body of work. However, now that I'm zeroing in and focusing on it and I've created a handful of pieces for it already, if I do not get the show at CASA, I want to apply here at the Tree Nod to see if I can do that show here this year. I have a feeling that like I'm going to be working towards the show. I'm doing the work already. I've got a handful of pieces. But when is that work ever going to be done? Never. I don't think that I think that there is something very specific I want to work through and I think that I will start reading one of my like self-help books about death and mortality as well when I'm doing this stuff. I need to read my other self-help book first and I The Mountain is You. I think that's what it is. I like barely touched it in like I don't know how many months. Many months, like 3 to 5 months maybe that I decided I was going to read that and I I've read like 3 pages. So <clears throat> I think that body of work will only really be completed once there's an exhibition date and the pieces go up. And I'm like, okay, I think, and I'll still probably do pieces here and there, but as for a body of work, I feel like it needs to be exhibited. At least for me, I can't just have a body of work and be like, hey, I did it. I did what I wanted to do and no one's going to see it. And that's a whole other topic that I need to revisit maybe next week. But as far as convers or the conversation goes with discussing goal setting. I think that's kind of where I'm at is like, I'm very aware that there are things I want to accomplish and I will accomplish what needs to be accomplished in that moment. And, and I mentioned that sometimes there's like a confidence or there's a certain place that I can be in where I can tackle some of the things that are difficult for me or have been difficult in the past. So I... One of these things, again, for the past year and a half, uh, cannabis has changed a bunch of things for me creatively more than any other area of my life. And I find it very easy now to do some things that I was scared of doing. And it's because I'm so in the moment, in the process. I'm not thinking about the outcome. Just whatever the piece needs, the piece needs. I'm not as rigid. Uh, I've taken some of those lessons and moved them into sober life because that's, I think, a healthy relationship with cannabis for me is that I don't need, I don't need it to do anything. It, it helps with some things, but it also helps teach me things that I can apply to my life in general. And that's one of those things where I feel much more open and free with the work that I'm doing. And I think it's developing in a really interesting way over the past year and a half. Um, I've done some things I'm really proud of, some things I'm really happy with. And a lot of it has to do with just not thinking. I'm just doing and not thinking, just automatic, like I'm just, I'm just doing it, serving the piece by, that's weird, that uh, column, backflow column didn't really work the way I thought it would. Anyway, I've just been doing what I need to do to serve the piece in the best way. And I've had some fantastic results and I've learned a lot of things. So for those portraits, for instance, that sometimes I can get scared of doing portraits because there is a more specific outcome or for landscapes, there's a more specific outcome. I'm working from a reference photo or the painting of Wren that I'd like to do someday. I think that it's going to be one of those things. I'm like, you know what? To, like, I 
chose to, uh, you know, do cannabis today. And I, I, you know, I'm in the mood. Let's do that. And that's just how simple it is for me sometimes. I, Cause I'm not thinking of overthinking it. I'm just like, this is what I'm in the mood to do. Let's do it. Let's, let's go for it. If I screw it all up, that's okay. Whereas before I put too much pressure on myself to not screw it up. So that is, that is breaking some chains that I put on myself. So that's been nice, but that, that is why I think the goal list is, is different and goal setting in general is different also because I've been more influenced by process, which again, I, I want to get into that more in a different conversation because I started that topic and I was texting back and forth with someone about it a little bit. And I want to get back to that and really look at those texts because I was under the influence of cannabis while I texted and um, I want to explore those ideas more formally and, and slowly. Anyway, that's basically it. I That's kind of where I'm at with goal setting. I just, yeah, there's things I want to do, but I don't want to have a goal weight, for instance. I want to feel better. I want the goals to be practical, reasonable. I want to measure them in a way that isn't, like I want to know that I'm achieving something because I can feel a difference or see a difference, not, or like I feel healthier, I feel better, I've got more energy, or I I can tell that my cardio work is is better than, like I'm doing, I'm, I'm in better shape or whatever, things like that, right? Or like, I know what I ate this week and I can just do better next week kind of thing. I don't think that for me, having like concrete numbers, data, whatever, it is such a turnoff. It is, it is, it doesn't make me want to do it. It makes me not want to get started and it feels weird. So for me, this is how goal setting it has been working lately that I feel I have gotten more results. I feel like having the discussions and conversations about things, talking with, with myself, talking with other people, I feel that I end up getting better results. So I think just treating it more casually, but consistent, having the re consistent reminders versus like, I need to have it done by this day and this day. And if it's on my mind every single day, I can't focus on other things. And I need that balance because I will get anxious and stressed and then I would need to find a way to cope with that. And that will take away possibly from me achieving these other goals. But if I am achieving some of these goals, like getting more sleep, getting um, more exercise in, having a better diet, that would also ease my anxiety. So it's this weird balance of like, I, I want to keep those things in mind on a daily basis, but not pressure myself on a daily basis. It's just like, I need to keep those things in mind and they are slowly integrating into my life and changes are being made for the past, I don't know how many months. The physio thing really slowed me down and kind of put a wrench in all of it, but, uh, or just not the physio, my knees being injured, but that's been getting better too. So anyway, goal setting 2024, that's where I'm at in how I approach goal setting.